they have found a nice hole here. Oh, there's a bite. Ha <laughs> There's a fish, guys. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Woo! Fish on. Well, to say that the weather is perfect would be an understatement. It is absolutely gorgeous out here. I only have a few hours. I'm going to be trying out some new equipment that I got, but just look at how gorgeous it is out in the marsh. Isn't that just, it's beautiful weather, beautiful weather. Now, the water itself is very, very tannic is what I would call it. If you look at it closely, you can see right here, you can see the bottom, but you can see how the brown tint is on the water. So it's very clear, visibility is gonna be great, but it's also tannic, a little brown. And that's what happens usually uh, from time to time out in the marsh, especially after it's rained for a while. But now we gotta go out and catch a redfish or a flounder or even a couple of sea trout or any combination thereof, really. So stay tuned, let's get out there, see what we can catch. This is one of my favorite times to fish. High tide, beautiful colors out here. It is just absolutely gorgeous. Couldn't have picked a better day or time that I wanted to fish for today. Well, maybe it's a little too early to be saying that. I guess I should wait until I catch a fish. Don't forget to subscribe and like this uh, video, please. Way off straight ahead, up against that bank, it looked like there was something hitting there. That's really thin water, I've been there before. Nice mullet jumping. Over here on the right hand side, again, you can see the, the ripples in the water, the current there. Uh, that looks really good. It's pretty thin, but sometimes uh, you'll find fish like flounder will like it like that, as they have an easier time just grabbing the bait. So, now let's fish in this direction. We got one guys, we got one. Got one, all right. Got our first fish, boy, it's a big one. He hit it hard. Oh, oh man. See, our drag is way too tight. Drag is way too tight. We might lose this fish because our drag is tight. There we go. Oh yeah, might be a, this might be a red. Man, he is strong. Ah, oh, I cannot even pull him up. He is yanking and swimming. Oh man. Oh, he's at the boat here. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh, he saw the boat and he took his first run. Guys, we're gonna, Oh my gosh. Oh, we broke off. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, I can't believe it. What an awesome fish that was. Oh, I see a big wake out there too. I have to think that was an overslot redfish. That thing was so powerful. He broke off. Oh. Okay, we're gonna hang out here a bit. <laughs> can't believe that. Oh. We'll retie and come right back. Well, you just saw me miss a huge fish. That thing bent my rod so bad. And now I floated down a little bit, but I, I, he broke off. I've retied and I've retied the same identical bait that I had on there, which is a DOA uh, cow shad figgy chicken, my confidence bait with a DOA black jig head and some yellow eyes there. 
So, and the figgy chicks color and DOA cow has a, a chartreuse tail. Now, that fish is likely gone. I know that, but it does show that there are fish out here and they're biting and what they're biting. ideal oh got one guys got one got one all right not the most ideal but we got a fish we got our fish <laughs> there we go let's see it's probably a smaller guy but oh looky Lou that probably is a sea trout is my guess let's put our Oh yeah. Yep, definitely a sea trout. We're gonna stake out here. Grab our net. Let's see if we can land this guy. Yeah, he's he is giving us a shower. And these sea trout are golden today. guy slack out this guy is 14 inches so he's too small to keep but that's our fish right there right there okay Ooh. pretty yellow mouth so we're gonna just let him go get him in the water as quickly as we can and revive. There he goes. A little extra time on the revival there. But nice to not get skunked today. 14 inch sea trout, first fish that we've landed. Third fish that we've Got the strike and second fish that we really hooked. <laughs> That's how I view it at least. Okay, we'll keep going. There's more fish in the sea to catch. Okay. Nice little 14 inch sea trout became the first catch of the day. I gotta tell you, the water out here is far darker than I thought it would be. So I'm fishing a root beer colored DOA cow. Actually, I'm not. On, on my one pole, I am. This, this pole, I'm using a figgy chicken. But what I'm gonna do is switch that bait out now. I've got a new color I've been using recently from DOA. It's called a Morning Glory. I'll put the number in there. I think it's 441 or something. But that's the color, and you can kind of tell the difference between the two. And I'm very much into natural baits. That's why I like this one a lot. That said, I'm also into catching fish. And in chocolate water, darker water, darker colors work best. So we're switching them up here. And we'll keep hunting for the red fish that we're looking for. Since the water's dark, that's what we're going with. And we're gonna go back into the marsh a little bit too. Did I get one? Got one, guys, that, that quickly. Good one. All right. Oh yeah. Yeah, got one that quickly. Let's see, he's right here at the boat. Looks like a sea trout, probably. Yep, decent size one. Looks like in the water. I just switched to a new bait. He just gave me a shower. Switched to a new bait. And he's got it in his mouth. Oh boy, thank you, sir. All right, I'm gonna get dried off here as I so we 
know the new bait color works. And this guy's not, oh, he just spit the hook. That's good, thank you very much. Made that easier on me. He's not gonna be big enough. I can tell already he's not gonna be big enough, but we're still gonna measure him, just for posterity's sake. You know, I've got, he gave me a splash today. Must have been a school of speckled, oh my goodness. He is, we're gonna let him go. He's an eighth of an inch under size. <laughs> Very nice fish. Beautiful colors, beautiful colors. Look at you, one tooth, snaggle tooth. Thank you. Splash me again. Ah, well, that's fishing. Got one, guys. Got one. He was chasing it, too. Okay, we got him. Fish on. Don't know what it is yet, because we're facing the sun. A little bit bigger fish than we've caught today. Looks like a, is that a red? Don't know. Looks like a sea trout, but a pretty thick, thick sea trout. Might be a keeper. Man, this guy is plump. He's plump. Feed, feed right here. Hold on. Yep. Oh, I'm gonna jump out of the boat. I think this is gonna be a keeper. Really nice, thick sea trout. Oh my goodness. Take a look at this guy, guys. Big sea trout. Croaking. So he's a male. Beautiful. Beautiful sea trout. Got the bait and the hook in his mouth. I'm pretty confident that this one is going to be a keeper. All right, put our net away here. Mm. He has been eating. Eating. enough he's certainly thick enough oh yeah yep he's a 17 inch sea trout that is fat and thick in the middle croaking so he's a male bring him home well you just saw me catch a nice 17 inch plump juicy sea trout really good keeper we've got him uh, bleeding out now he's in the ice chest Taking him back to the bank. We're gonna clean him up. We'll fish a few more locations as we're heading back if the conditions are right there for fish. Stay tuned. Let's see what else we can catch on our way back to the truck. Spent a few minutes casting here, but we don't really have a lot of time. Oh, had a nibble there. over there, right in front of the boat. Oh, 
Oh, had one guys. He he took it too. He took it and I missed the hook set. So we're gonna try that cast again. Right off into the corner there. Oh that's what we like to hear. Yeah, something keeps nibbling it and there's some bait fish jumping over there. We floated up on the hole though. We're quiet, maybe we can position ourselves. Wow. Yeah, they keep hitting. Got one. Got one, guys. Did you see that? Did you see that? Haha. <laughs> I got him too. Let's turn this boat around. Oh yeah, he's tugging. He was tearing it up for a while there. Uh, oh yeah, he's gonna go on another run. Now he's toward the boat. Don't want him to go underneath it. Whoa, that might be a redfish. It's a nice sized fish, guys. Don't wanna get caught in my tow line. So, this new hook. Oh, that's a sea trout. That is a sea trout. My goodness. Here we go. Oh boy, he's golden in color. Let's roll in our, he is fat. That looks like, <laughs> he's got the shape of a redfish. Oh my goodness. Okay, this sea trout has the shape that we just caught, has the shape of a redfish. You are not gonna believe how thick and fat this guy is. We caught him on our new hook setup. Oh yeah, shower time. He has got some shoulders on him. He's not that long, but he is thick. Oh my goodness. Take a look at that. Take a look at that. Let's get that out of the way. Sells a little more slack. Look at that sea trout. Oh my goodness. Oof. Hooked right in the corner of the mouth. Just an amazing sea trout. Let's see. He is 18 and a half. 18 and a half is a good size and he's going in the box. I always try to take home more than one sea trout since once you start cleaning them. That's it. 18 and a half inch sea trout. Nice catch. Look at that. Beautiful guy. Beautiful sea trout. If you haven't done so yet, smash that subscribe button. Press the like button while you're at it. Hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified every time that I post a video like this one. Hope you enjoy it. And I hope you enjoy all the content you find right here, Kayak Fishing Addict on YouTube. is ridiculously beautiful.